<laughs> Good deal. Let's take a look here at the poll and see where this goes because this is the question I'm going to ask these guys. Football, 17%. Men's basketball, up to 42%. Women's basketball, is that say 6%? And softball, 30 Wow, men's basketball has raced past softball. Okay, gentlemen, next sport. If, if baseball's taken off the list and if we throw out the sports that, you know, rowing and stuff that we're never going to talk about in this show, you look at these four, who is the next champion? Which sport wins it? Let's go ahead and put the poll back up there. I'm so, oh, I see. I got a full screen. I forgot to show this graphic. There you go. Ah. Football, men's basketball, women's basketball, softball. I'll tell you what. I'll go in a direction that a lot of people wouldn't think. I'm going to go women's basketball. And here's the reason. You've got a new coach, going to bring in a new type of program. You still got Tennessee as a, as a, as a women's basketball school. And I think the competition at the top is less in women's basketball. You got four or five teams, you get by them, you can win a national championship. Whereas football, I think you got a pretty steep hill to climb with the Georgias and Ohio States yeah. out there. Men's basketball, eh, you know, you've never been beyond the Elite Eight. So I'm going to go women's basketball. I am. Shocked, flabbergasted, <laughs> stunned, stunned. Your flabber is gassed. My, yes, you gassed my flabber. <laughs> well, that makes Shocked. it easier for me to give the right answer. I think, <laughs> and at least in my mind, I'm, I'm saying men's basketball, and I tell you why. I think you were one win away from getting to the Final Four, and uh, yeah, that was like the Purdue and the, all of the three seconds in the lane and all of Which that. Which means you won three games and you still need three more to win the title. <laughs> well, but I mean, and you, like, and Bob's right, football. That's going to be tough with all everything out there. Yeah. Softball, that window to me is closed, especially with Oklahoma and Texas coming in, the two top programs. And, you know, maybe but both basketball programs I think would deserve some consideration, but I think it would be men's basketball before any of the others. Well, Caldwell is taking it. Kim Caldwell is taking over a program that did make – it's not like the tournament – it's not like the, the Tennessee team didn't make the tournament last year. Right. So it is a tournament team. Uh, can her new system have that kind of an impact that quickly? Interesting. I don't know that she's on par with the South Carolinas and LSUs News of the world. And, yeah. but, uh, you could also look at it as that's one in 68, whereas football is one in 12. So you got a little bit, if you're just looking at pure numbers, I agree with you that Georgia and Alabama and the Ohio State's the world make it a little tougher. But it's only one in 12. Now if you get in there, it's not like you're going to go through a 64-team yeah. tournament if you make the thing. Um, I'm going to go softball, even with Oklahoma and Texas, simply because you've been at that level yeah, for a while. consistently for a while. If you're, if you're talking about breakthrough, as Danny White mentioned, you're simply waiting for a breakthrough with softball. I, just I agree felt, that Oklahoma right. is just – they're a dominant right. monster. And right I now. just felt like softball's best chance by far was this past season, and that kind of fell apart. And it's going to be hard to build that back up again. Well, the interesting thing is, though, you can make a case for these teams. Yes. Uh, I mean, point. you're sitting there, yeah. and I think there was a time when you asked this question, and you go, <laughs> oh, yeah. what? Yeah. None. You That's know, a great point. You All know, four kind and, of in the mix. And so the fact that you can make a yeah. case, yeah, mm -hmm. that, that means you're in a good place. Yeah, that is. That's a, that's a good call. Uh, I will say this. I, we were talking in between break. All of the people who sent uh, Danny White ugly emails and the Sentinel did a Freedom of Information Act and, and printed them, all those people who said, I'll never support you, blah, 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 I wonder how they're feeling now. Are they still mad over the Kim Caldwell, over the, yeah. the, the Kelly Harper no. firing? I wonder if that changed <laughs> with this national championship. I'm guessing I'm some somewhat, of them chilled yeah, out. Somewhat, somewhat. All right. 